What is up guys, DZ Fear, and today I have sort of a different video, sort of a unique video, and uh, today we're gonna be opening a couple products that I recently won on like a random drawing that was on House of Champs channel a few weeks ago. And these are pretty strange products because uh, I have some pretty expensive mats. I have like a 94 gray Spellground that I've talked about in the past. The UDS mat that I won is pretty expensive as well. But as far as deck boxes go, I don't really own a lot of expensive deck boxes. I mostly just use Ultra Pro and Ultimate Guard, just regular deck boxes. They seem to get the job done but uh, I won a deck box. House of Chance basically did a charity stream and I donated to it and I guess when you donate you get like some uh, some tickets in your name thrown into like a hat basically and then he draws random tickets and he had a lot of prizes that uh, particular stream so he drew a lot of different names so I actually won two different of his like 20 items. I won two of them. We're gonna take a look at both of them today. So this is big box here is uh, the deck box that we'll look at. Um, it's sort of too big to open on camera so I'll cut it open and then we'll switch to a different view. Oh and I should mention before I show you guys the deck box and then the other thing that I want as well which I believe is a Yugi mat or something along those lines that uh, today's video even though it's not like a normal video I uh, still will do a review at the end that's something that I've been doing every single day for October so far and I've uh, haven't missed a day yet I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss a couple days this weekend we'll have to catch up later but at the end of this video we'll still review one of those cards uh, so this deck box at the moment it's kind of hard to narrow down its price it seems to sell for about a hundred dollars there are a few of them on eBay right now that are for like a hundred and then a couple that are for like 250 which is way too high but it seems Seems like they sell at around a hundred dollars so way more expensive than any deck box I've ever owned uh, like I said I've owned a couple like 300 and 400 and 500 dollar mat but a mat is kind of different because when you're thinking like a, a mat it's something that you're actually playing on it's something you get to see a lot with a deck box not so much I mean you take your deck out of it but then other than that you don't get to show it off very much so a lot of people don't buy expensive deck boxes but I've seen this one a couple places and it's pretty cool so this is the uh it's, this is from OCG by the way so it's a Japanese item that's why everything's in Japanese he says Konami there and it's in gold and it says Asia Championship 2017 Qualifiers Winter. I'm not the best person to ask about how Asian Championships go for Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't really know a lot about that, but I believe this is something that you had to win and or maybe it was like an entry to something that you had to qualify for. Um, but this part isn't super exciting. It's not the part why people get excited about this. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason, this is a double deck box as well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the reason has something to do with the fact that it has a golden Dark Magician Girl on the front there, and that is uh, pretty cool. Obviously, you guys know I'm not like the, the biggest dark mission fan but it's cool i wonder if it even has dividers that'd be pretty cool uh, also i think this video is going to go up on uh whoops, sorry camera i think this video is going to go up on saturday but i will be using this deck box or trying to use this deck box uh throughout the weekend of ycs dallas so if you see me there and want to take a look at this in real life uh, feel free to ask me it's no big deal so we can see there and yeah it's oh it's not even you can't even feel it. that is so strange it is just like on there that is interesting i wonder how uh durable that is i've seen a couple of these around uh oh it does come with deck dividers okay so we have dark mission girl and oh it's just the front and the back that is pretty slick though sorry it's really hard for this to pick up on the camera the uh, the map black there doesn't help as well but uh this is just your standard double deck box you guys have probably seen these before pretty common stuff that people use um personally I, I don't use these too much anymore for actually dueling but this one's pretty cool so i'll probably try to make a couple of uses out of at least one tournament. Um, so what people usually do with these is that they'll put their main deck in one of the compartments and then their side and extra in the other compartment. Um, so then when you're dueling, you'll probably just close it with the side deck still in there, maybe the side deck on the table, or whatever, and just put it to the side. If you're trying to invest in something to actually like be proud of and show off to a lot of people, a deck box usually isn't what most people do just because it's something that not everyone sees. A mat is something that someone can look at your table at a glance and be like, oh, they have that really cool spell ground or they have that really cool like top cut mat, something along those lines but that was cool so that's the uh, the first item that I won and then I'll uh, bring up the second item in just one second here okay so the second item is in this big bag here which once again I'll probably have to open off camera because it's way too big maybe someday I'll get an overhead camera set up that'd be a lot easier but uh so basically this one is a mat and I believe it features Yugi or maybe Yami Yugi perhaps both and I don't know the exact value of this there aren't a ton of these on eBay and it's a little I don't even really know what to search um for what I can find it's not like the most expensive thing I think it, I found a couple between like 30 and 50 dollars so not a crazy the expensive map but still a pretty cool collector's item so let me open this off camera and then we'll show you i don't even remember what this looks like i remember looking it up like a couple weeks ago but i can't actually remember so it's kind of a surprise for me as well okay so this is what this one looks like for the most part uh it's actually not a full-size mat it is just a uh, it just says the, the two zones it's kind of tiny i uh, i don't think i'm actually going to open this one only because i think i might i don't know if i'm trying to sell this but I, I might actually try to do like a giveaway for this in the future i will definitely try to find an image of the entire mat and put it on the screen now so there it is you guys can 
can kind of see it there. So I do want to mention that I actually have, I've won one of these other drawings in the past in one of the charity streams. And I don't really, I always forget that it's even a thing. Uh, this happened as well, where like I, I donated and then like several hours later, John messaged me and said, okay, you're not going to believe this, but you didn't just win one prize, you won two prizes. Um, it was just going towards a good cause and that, that was more what it was about. But it's still cool to like win stuff. Not so sure about this map. I'm not like the biggest, I mean, it's Dark Magician Girl, pretty cool stuff. And I understand that that's like an actual card, but as far as like the anime goes, I'm really not like a huge fan. So this doesn't mean too much to me, but it might mean a lot to one of you guys. So I might do a contest in the future. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about something, but I, I want to try to give this away, give back to the community a little bit, because to be completely honest, I have way too many uh, mats just sitting around my house. I should get rid of a lot of them. I have gotten rid of a lot of them, but I should get rid of more. And I don't need, even though this mat's cool and it's like an OC item and it's a collector's item, it's not something that I like really can use. Cause like one of the difficult parts about mats is you can only use one per duel, right? So you can't uh, just carry around a backpack full like 50 of them to switch out every single game so i think i don't really need this one in my personal collection even though it is pretty cool so i'll try to find some way to give it back to you guys today's spooky card at the end of the video is vampire vamp so i wanted to shout out some vampire card from duel links i don't really play a lot of duel links anymore but when i did play that game i played a lot of vampires and i wanted to give some sort of recognition to that strategy and i feel like this is the card to do so there are other far more important cards as far as the engine goes this was only a one of but to me this is the big selling point of playing that deck even though it wasn't very good in the TCG. So this is a level 7 monster with 2000 attack and 2000 defense and it says once per turn when this card or a vampire monster is normal summoned to your field you can target one monster your opponent controls whose attack is higher than this card's so equip it to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined original attack of the monsters equipped to it by its effect Then also if this card sent to the graveyard while equipped with the card by its effect special summon this card. So I think when this card was designed for the TCG it was supposed to be a card that was meant to gain uh, incremental value over time. As far as Duel Links goes though, when I was playing, this card was basically just used as a finisher to get around big monsters. If you're stealing something with this card, it has more than 2,000 attack, and Duel Links only has 4,000 life points, so as long as your opponent has no other monsters on the board, or as long as you're able to take care of them with other effects or other attacks, you'll usually be able to one-shot your opponent after resolving this effect. It's a real shame that vampires never became super popular in the TCG. They actually have some pretty crazy cards, like a Counter Trap and a couple other cards that never made it into Duel Links, but I still had a lot of fun with this deck in Duel Links, so I thought for Halloween, just on one day, I would give a shout out to that deck that I liked a lot. Anyway though, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's discussion video or this opening on this Dark Magician Girl deck box as well as that mat. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see reviewed as far as October goes. There are plenty of spaces available for stuff that I don't necessarily know what I'm reviewing yet. So if you have a favorite Halloween card or a favorite zombie card, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Anyway though, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.